Lots and lots of money to be made in the domain name industry, the domain name vertical. Companies looking to acquire the raw version of their brand. Hey, Chris, I could be the options help companies to acquire the raw version of the brand, right? Uh, and broken some of the best domains on the planet. So check that out over at mediaoptions.com. Check out chrisziker.com. I do a daily podcast and check out my YouTube channel, okay? So, like over 100 videos. Anyways, listen, there's a lot of, there's just still a lot of uh, money to be made and a lot of arbitrage, okay? I was going to title this, this uh, video arbitrage because there's just still many different arbitrage opportunities. Uh, that are out there. Now, this is both for the domain investor looking for great deals on domain names, but also for companies looking to acquire the raw version of the brand. And, you know, it, it's interesting because I was talking to Drew this last week about domain values and about how we both see like the values going up just because there's like this major paradigm shift that's happening in the marketplace today. Okay. So you go back, I'm actually refining this thought here. Okay. You go back, you look at when, uh, you know, the universe first came out um, and, you know, there was like this, you know, people were making like lots of money off of uh, parking. Okay. I wasn't involved at that point, but I hear stories and I'm like, wow, wish I was back then. Okay. Then, you, you know, you fast kind of fast forward to category to find the domain names were big. Now it's investors, but now more companies are understanding that they need to acquire the raw version of the brand. But listen, at the same point, a lot of companies don't understand that. And, you know, Drew and I were talking about some recent sales that we had and like we had some just really, really good sales. Okay. I mean, companies stepped up to the plate and they acquired the raw version of the brand, but we're both like, you know what? They still, like, they still don't realize that they got an amazing deal on this, on, on this domain. Okay. I remember my thesis is your domain name equals your brand equals your brand equity. And so by default, what, what they're really investing in is their brand equity. Okay. It's this thought of like loyalty. It's this thought of conversion. It's this thought of being able to differentiate yourself from the marketplace. Okay, create this in you know, in the in the in the very, I guess, simplistic. Okay, simplistic. You're creating this simple and effortless path for your customers to find you. Okay, uh, for your customers to email you. Okay, and you're re reducing the friction. Okay, and that's really what the domain name is. Okay, the domain name encapsulates everything in your business. But here's the thing. Okay, and here's why there's lots of arbitrage that still is available. Now listen. I'm not talking about the main investor standpoint because that's a whole other discussion. I'm talking about brands. I'm talking about brands. Uh, I mean, we're at Media Options, we're just in this unique position because we're in the position when a domain name becomes available. Let's say a company scales and you know, they're, um, a company's bought up. They go through this transition, maybe they're rebranding. This other, this other company kind of comes into their fold and the dom a, a domain name becomes available. Okay. Um, and so we're in this unique position because companies come to us and say, Hey, Chris, can you help me sell this domain name? Can you get this, you know, get out with outbound outreach and, and reach out to these companies? And so that's what we do, right? We're the best at it. Uh, one domain broker of the year, like several years in a row. And I mean, we just have done a lot of volume. Okay. And so what happens is that, uh, and this is, this is like, I think where the arbitrage really comes in. This is, I mean, this is, it's cool in the sense of like smaller startups can really like, um, if they understand domains, they understand branding. Okay, this aspect of your domain equals your brand equals your brand equity. Okay, they understand that. They can capture like this massive momentum by acquiring their domain name. Now, what I mean by that is that um, you know only one company really can control the global positioning for a keyword. Okay, so you think of Kraken, you think of Kraken Rum. Okay, Kraken Rum has spent like fifty, seventy million dollars in their marketing. And listen, hey, if you are in that, uh, you know, you're in the marketing, let me know. Okay, let me know if I'm right. But that's kind of my gauge based on what I see in the life cycle, okay? And, and yet they don't own the global positioning for their brand. They don't, right? Kraken, this, this crypto exchange, right? That started out, they, they, they bought and they, they captured the momentum, okay? So all of the money that was, was pumped into that keyword, okay, into that brand, it uh, was transferred over the, to this other brand that created the simplicity by owning this simple path for that keyword. Now, this happens over and over and over again. One of the most dramatic that I've seen is Workforce.com and WorkforceSoftware.com. Now, listen, there's no reason why Workforce Software didn't acquire Workforce.com, okay, and acquire the company like, like the company that, um, that acquired Workforce.com, okay? It was a competitor, and they bought up the whole company. They thought, okay, they thought in, in bigger terms, they thought in a bigger sandbox. And what I see happening over and over again is that most companies, like they, they, they think they're playing in the sandbox over here, but they don't realize that uh, like these chess moves um, and they don't realize who their competition really is. Their competition is not the other maybe 10, 15 players in their industry, okay? Listen, the competition is for 
their keyword, their brand. Workforce.com, WorkforceSoftware.com, Kraken.com, KrakenRum.com, Carrot.co, Carrot.com. Okay, over and over and over again. Now, intuitively, listen, I mean, the best VCs, the best marketers, they understand this, they know this, okay, because they realize that they have email bleed, okay? Email bleed is, is a sure way to see this because your emails are going to a different company, okay? Or you're having people call and say, hey, uh, we're at this other, you know, um, I want to talk about my order, I want to refund. You're like, Miss, listen, got the wrong guy. Literally, get, I get 10 calls a, a, a week from a, um, this one domain we own. I just you know, forwards over to us. And I have to tell them, like, listen, I'm some dude in the middle of Arkansas in the woods, like, get the wrong company. I'm not charging your credit card. I can unequivocally um, uh, tell you that, okay, with a, with a level of certainty that um, is off the charts, okay? But arbitrage, okay, arbitrage. So it's, it's interesting because, um, but this, this same arbitrage, okay, with companies not understanding, it also is, like, is good for domain investors because the domain investors can, can pick up deals because the market just... Um, you know, I, I was I was talking to Jerry. I need to come up with a better name for this, but I was saying like it's this, it's this incompetence. Okay, it's like uh, um, there's this incompetence in the actual paradigm shift that's happened, and these companies they don't they don't get it. Like they don't get it until it's too late. Listen, workforce so workforce software is around for 20 years, and overnight, listen, they got rocked, rocked, never going back, never going back. Now that happens over and over again at different scales. Okay, different scales depend upon the company and the brand. Uh, but it's important to understand the seven dimensions to a domain name. Now, this arbitrage is this is what I was like, you know, Drew. This is what makes the industry fun, right? This is this is where it's exciting because, listen, maybe that bigger company that's raised fifty million dollars doesn't understand it, but the smaller guy who's raised maybe ten, listen, they get it. They're locking it in, and and guess what? Like they're gonna have like this massive momentum when they create this simpleness, effortless path for their customers. Okay. In essence, your domain equals your brand equals your brand equity. It's foundational, right? If you're having to tell your customers, hey, uh, you know, don't go over there, go over here because this is us, we're not that, right? Don't go to nitro.com or get nitro or nitro software or nitro LLC or whatever, 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 right? Well, guess what? Like, it permeates your whole organization, okay? It just does. And this has, this has an impact, this confusion has an impact to your conversion, to your brand equity. Impact of the halo effect, and it's it's you know if you're like Kraken Rum, listen. If they could go back and acquire Kraken, do you think they would? Knowing what they know today, do you think they would? Do you think Workforce Software? And I listen. I don't. I just you know the one store. I don't know them. But do you think if they could go back, they would have said, "Hey, uh, let's acquire that." Well, yeah, of course they would. Of course, they're gonna get rocked like overnight. It's strategy, right? It's strategy. Arbitrage, uh, and that's the beauty of it. You know, that's the beauty of it. I think um, domain names will continue to go up. Uh, you know, we're seeing the price of domain names go up, but that doesn't mean that people are, are um, it doesn't mean that it's, it's kept the value, okay? Because the value of, of the domain is still well underpriced to what it's worth to that company, okay? It truly is, it truly is. Uh, but nothing more exciting for me as a domain broker to sell that domain name when someone passes and be like, eh, listen, done, off the market. Bye bye. See ya. It's it's over. You lost the opportunity. And in the end, like I'm truly happy for the company that acquires it because they see, they have the vision, they see it, and you know they're capturing the momentum behind just everything that goes along with like amazing branding, okay, marketing, and they're capturing the halo effect from all their all their um, other uh, companies. Okay, super long. I'm gonna get off here. Share this up if you found value. Go to chrisecker.com. Check out my my podcast and uh, share this up. You just got done listening to another episode of Dot Com Strategies. Check us out online at chrisziker.com and at mediaoptions.com.